Uh, local stuff, well, there's lots of things that happen. Uh, I mean, there's rodeos in the area that are always fun to attend. Um, many of them have like a midway carnival type atmosphere and, and not to mention, you know, the rodeo itself going on. A lot of people come out to watch chuck wagons and stuff like that. Um, we have the jet boat races, uh, we have air shows that go on. Um, big event, of course, I'm involved in is the, the pond hockey that happens in the winter months. And uh, it's certainly a, a premier winter event where we get teams that come from uh, nowadays uh, all over the world that come to our event and participate and it's a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I grew up as a kid playing lots of hockey and uh, I, don't, I don't play anymore but um, certainly you know for people to come out there and watch uh, kind of hockey the way it was it was uh, you know original just kids and people playing out on on their backyards or frozen ponds or lakes or whatever uh, not being in an arena environment that's really what we've gone back to with this event right where people can come out and, and play hockey the way it used to be and uh, people love it and, and even still to this day I mean there's lots of um, uh, players that come to us that they play hockey outside all through the winter they don't play in an arena environment they play outside so it's a great event we just you know had some a team come over this year from Norway for the first time to get a team international and, and they just had a tremendous experience here.